density. We require three tumblers, water, salt, three eggs. Pour same measurement of water in all the three tumblers. The first tumbler is with fresh water. The second tumbler is with salt. Third tumbler is with lots of salt. Now put an egg in the first tumbler. The egg sinks because the egg is more denser than the fresh water. Now put an egg in the second tumbler. It moves to the top because the salt water is more denser than the egg. Now put an egg in the third tumbler. It moves to the top. Now wait for 2-5 to five seconds. Now add fresh water slowly in the third tumbler. see that the egg floats in the between of the tumbler. This process is called buoyancy. This experiment is to know about density. Thank you. Hi. Have you ever wondered how light travels from one point to another? In what part does light travels from one point to the other? Let us find out to a simple experiment. Now take three CDs. Arrange three CDs one behind the other such that their centers are in the same horizontal line. Now take the torch. Throw the torch light on the first CD. Can you see the light that is visible on the other end on the wall? I will move one of the CD. I will throw the torch light again. No, the light is no more visible on the wall. This shows that light does not travel in zigzag way. By this experiment, it proves that light travels in a straight line. Thank you. My name is Atit K or 6B. My topic is pop pop boat. Pop pop boat is powered by a very simple heat engine. When heat is applied to the boiler, water in the boiler evaporates, producing steam. The steam, the expanded steam is suddenly pushed out of the boiler, making a pop sound. The water and pushes some of the water in the exhaust tube propelling the boat forward. The credit of the first pop-up boat is usually given to a French man named Thomas Poet. Tom Poet filed a patent application in UK for a simple pop-up boat using a boiler and two exhaust tubes. The popularity of the boat spread quickly and started to manufacture in many countries. The commercial pop-up boats are made of tin plate. The hulk of the boat is made of any material that floats. Thank you.
Here also it is present. Now we will start the experiment. Take a glass and fill it with water right up to the brim. Put a strip card on the top of the glass and press it for me. Turn the glass upside down and see on your hand. It shows that the card does not fall and the water remains in the glass. Air exerts pressure in the upward direction. The air pressure is measured by an instrument called barometer. Thank you. Hello everybody, I am Akshaj. I am studying in first standard. Today my topic for the exhibition is animal world. There are many animals on the earth. Some animals like lion, tiger, deer, cheetah, monkey, elephant, bear live in forests. They are called as wild animals. Some animals like cow, buffalo, sheep, goat, horse are kept in farms. They are called domestic animals. They give us milk, meat, egg, wool, wool. They also help us in farming and transportation. Apart from these, animals like dogs, cats, fish, birds are kept in home. They are called pet animals. We should give food, water, shelter to the domestic and pet animals. Also, we should save forests as they give shelter to the wild animals. Thank you. Dear teachers and my dear friends, I am Arjun Manoj from 3rd Standard A section. Today, I am going to explain about solar eclipse. Solar eclipse happen when the moon comes in the middle of sun and earth and blocks sun's rays from reaching to earth. In this model, I, have, I represent this ball as moon and this ball as earth. When the moon comes in the middle of sun and earth, it blocks sun's rays from the sun and casts a shadow on earth. The darker line you are seeing on this shadow is called umbra and this lighter pen on the outer rim is called penumbra. Thank you. My name is Lana from Class 60. I am going to present my science exhibition project. My topic is Vermicompost Pit. So, I am going to explain what is Vermicompost Pit. Vermicompost Pit is the product of the deep, uh, decomposition process using various species of worms, usually red wiggler, white worms and other earthworms to create a mixture of decomposing vegetable or food waste, bedding material and uh, vermi, vermicasta. This is called uh, vermicomposting while the rearing of worms for the purpose is called vermiculture. This is also called warm casting, warm humus and warm manure or warm fascius is the end product of the breakdown of organic matter by earthworms. The vermicomposting contains water soluble nutrient and is an excellent nutrient rich organic fertilizer and soil conditioner. It is used in farming and small scale sustain, sustainable organic farming. And now I am going to explain the types of vermicompost pit. There are two types of vermicompost pit. Bed method and pit method. So now I am going to explain bed method. This is an easy method in which bed of organic matter are prepared. It helps farmers to do other own organic compost. 
These beds are specially made for modern farming, widely used for organic farming. Next, I'm gonna explain pit method. In this method, the organic matter is collected in cement pit. However, this method is not prominent as it involves problems of poor aeration and water logging. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna explain my model. So, this is my model. The f this is my model vermicompost pit. Now, I'm gonna explain you the layers. So, the first layer is pebbles, big and small pebbles for support. And these collect the vermi wash. The second layer is uh, cow dung and soil mixture. This moist the soil and the third layer is grass clipping and the fourth layer is again the cow and soil mixture and the fifth layer is again the grass clipping and the sixth layer is some of soil and the seventh layer is uh, uh, soil with red worms and the last layer is some kitchen waste so these this this is my vermi compost uh, vermi compost the model so this is my vermi compost model these are the items which i used big and small pebbles and i have i have used some uh, cow dung and soil mixture and some dried grass and soil and some earthworms made of clay and some kitchen waste and finally i have used cow dung cakes Thank you. Thank you, teachers and my dear friends. I am Lakshmi Manoj from 4th Standard A section. Today I am going to explain about water transpiration. Transpiration is the process of water movement through a plant and its evaporation from aerial parts such as leaves, stem and flowers. Roots take up water from the soil. Stem helps, helps to to transport various parts of plant. Excess water evaporates from the leaves, stem and flowers. Aim to show that plants lose their water through their leaves during transpiration. Take a medium size well water plant and cover it with a transparent polythene bag. Take a similar empty polythene bag and cover its mouth. This polythene bag will act as a control of this experiment. Tiny drops of water appeared inside this polythene bag. No such drops appear inside an empty polythene bag. The plant gives up water vapor through its leaves which saturates and condenses on the inner surface of the polythene bag. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Sindhu Jeevan. I am from Forte. Today, I am going to demonstrate how to test the purity of honey. For this experiment, you will be needing 2-3 to three tablespoons of honey and a glass of water. First, take the glass of water and add 2-3 to three tablespoons honey into it. Now observe what happens.
lesser density than the density of water. So this is floating. In the other glass, the lemon has higher density than the density of water. So this is sinking. Thank you. Hey everyone, my son Subiksha. I am studying in Pune Pregna Education Center School Grade 4. Subject Science Topic Matter. I like to share I would like to share you about matter. What is matter? Matter is everything around you. It has mass and takes up space. Matter is made of molecules. Matter consists three stages solid, liquid and gas. Solid has its own shape, has volume, has mass. Liquid. Liquid takes the shape of the container, has volume, has mass. Gas. Gas has no shape, no volume, but has mass. Solid. Liquid. Gas. Only air can feel. We can't touch the air, we can't see the air. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Monica. I am sharing in 6th standard B section. My topic is agriculture practice. Agriculture practice is the art and science of cultivating plants. It includes the preparation of plants and animals. People distribute to market. Agriculture provides most of the world food and fabrics. They are seven ways to farm. First one, preparing, preparation of soil, sowing seed, applying manure, irrigation, winding, harvesting, store of house. Preparation of soil. Preparation of soil is the first step before growing the crop. First, we should make the soil loose. First we should make the soil loose. In the olden days, they were using bullock carts like this. And But now we have the tractors, tractor, etc. Why we should do loose of soil? So that the plants go deep in the soil and earthworms create. Sowing of a seed. Sowing of a seed is the process of planting seed. We should take a leaf seed to plant. Applying manure. In olden days, they were using cow dung to apply the manure. But now we have so many manures like greenery manure, composite manure, etc. Rainwater harvesting. Why we we must do rainwater harvesting? Because what? What we do, rainwater harvesting, we will save the water for our future. To save our water future. The rain comes, the rain comes and the supply of water comes to the plant. And irrigation. Irrigation is the artificial supplies of water. This is the supply of water. Here the water comes and it's plugged like this. Winding. Winding. Winding is what we pluck out waste, waste leaves, waste plants. Why we must remove waste plants? Because why we remove waste plants that what we put the manure or cow dung etc. That, that all the waste plant we eat water cow dung etc so we want to eat our plant so we should pluck out all the waste plants harvesting harvesting after, after all all these things are last this is only harvesting harvesting is the process harvesting harvesting what the even ragi comes like this after all the plant dries and we pluck like this store of greens after all this method we do store like this 
so many greens etc thank you hello dear friends i am chirai the of sixth day today i am doing an experiment on the topic air has oxygen so you can see the picture of the friends so first of all you should take two candles of the same length afterwards you should take one glass tumbler and cover it so as you see as you see uh, friends the candle inside the glass tumbler has exhaustion and here which we did put the glass tumbler is still burning so what can be the reason of this friends are you thinking right which is that the candle inside the glass component has do not has air do not has sufficient air so it was so it exhausted and that is which we need to put the steam burning because it's getting the air and all the components so it's burning so thank you friends teachers today i am showing the respiratory system how to do respiratory system and how the respiratory system works to do this activity we need one plastic bottle a scissor a tape and two small balloons two straws and one big balloons let's we start our activity take a bottle cut it into half after cutting it take a cap till the straw can go inside the cap after it take one straw cut it little after cutting it take a another straw make the length of this straw which you have cut it from that dog after putting that put it into the hole which you have made a tiny after putting it put a tape or a glue glue uh, our palang pipe has been ready take the small balloons cut it into half after cutting it put into a lung pipe which you have made put a tape both the side after putting it our lungs has been ready take a bottle which you have cut it to put a balloon over it big balloon cut it into half and put over the plastic bottle and put a tape over it that balloon cannot fell down after it put the lungs which you have made inside the plastic bottle see see absorb uh, now i am showing the how the respiratory system works Thank you, Manan. Good morning, all of them. My name is Manan. I'm studying in second year. My topic is a volcano. An opening in the earth's surface through which a lava, lava, or gas and rock fragment. I will show experiment of lava and erupt. First, I will putting a uh, vani baking soda. baking sir and i am putting a uh, vinegar this is um lava lava is also called as a magma volcano can have a very serious effect on the land and and pe people people around them when they erupt people people are killed buildings are decide this this side and pe people are made homeless poisonous gas kill people and animal animal 
दास करीब सभी स्विंड एंड एवी रेन मैन फील एंड रैप्शन ऑफ मंथ्स आफ्टर वर्ड थैंक यू Good morning to one and all. My name is Rashmika Kayar. I am studying in 6th standard A section. Today I am going to show you all an experiment of color changing milk. Things needed are some quantity of milk and some 4 food colors and a filler and some plate and a water. So now pour the milk into the plate. Allow the milk to settle. Still then, let's mix the food coloring with the water. After the milk settles, take a feeder and fill the colors. Take different colors and put it some maintaining some distance. Now take the cotton swab and dip it in the dishwasher. Keep it in the mixture of the colors. You can see that the color is moving. And I, you can see that even the color is moving when the cotton swab is removed from the milk. This is because milk is mostly water but it also contains vitamins, minerals, proteins and tiny droplets of fat suspended in them. Fats and proteins are sensitive to the changes in the milk. The secret of the bursting of colors is that tiny drop of soap. Thank you. Hello everybody. My name is Ritu Priya. I am from 5th standard B section. Today I am going to do an experiment with 2 cups of water, 2 lemon and some salt. I have already added some salt in the water. First I am dropping 1 lemon in the salt water. See the lemon is floating because the lemon have lesser density than the salt water. Next, I am dropping a lemon in normal water. See, the lemon is sinking because the water has lesser density than the lemon. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Himagna Shukti. Today I am going to, my, I am studying in second standard. Today I am going to talk about means of transport. People need transport to travel from one place to another. They are, there are three types of transport. They are roadway transport, waterway transport and air transport. Roadway transport. Vehicles that move on the land are called roadway transport. For, for example, car, train, bus, truck, bicycle, etc. 
uh, water weight transport. Water transport carries people and goods from one place to another. Uh, for example, boat and ship. Boat and ship. Airway transport. People who go to faraway places need airway. Airway transport. For example, airway. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Pratha. I am studying in second standard. My school name is Pune Prana Education Center. This is my science project, water cycle. There are four main stages in the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. The water cycle shows the continuous movement of water within the and earth and at atmosphere. Liquid, wa liquid water evaporates into water vapor and condense from, from cloud and precipitate by back to the earth in the form of rain in the form of rain and snow it collects in the river or ocean thank you namaste my name is Sub subindra i am studying in second standard my uh, school name is puna panga education center uh, let us know about uh, life cycle of butterfly a mother butterfly lays a eggs in the green leaves after three four days a tiny a tiny caterpillar come out a tiny caterpillar uh, is so hungry always a tiny caterpillar eat the green leaves after two weeks a tiny caterpillar become a big caterpillar this stage is lava lava stage uh, lava stage in the in the in the end of the two weeks the caterpillar find a safe place and and it's no own cocoon attached to the leaves and the the cocoon this 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 is the stage three this stage stage this stage is pupa stage they pro they process uh, metro more process of after a 10 days a butterfly come out and uh, flies away sir. that like uh, a butterfly put a egg and the continue thank you hi guys how are you all my name is Prana. I am studying in first standard exercise. Now I am going to do an experiment. Now the topic is insoluble, insoluble substance and soluble substances. Now I have taken a glass of water. Now I am going to add some salt to it. I am stirring it. Now we cannot see the salt, so it has been dissolved. The taste is very salty. Now I have taken another glass of water. Now I am going to add some sand to it. I am stirring it well. But it is not dissolving. So it is insoluble substances and salt is soluble substances. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Deepan. I am studying in 4 standard A section. Today's my topic is leaf. Leaf is an important part of a plant. Leaf is in green color because of chlorophyll present in it. Leaf prepare food to plant. So we call leaf kitchen of the plant. Now I am going to say about leaf parts of leaf parts. Leaf blade. Flat and broad surface is called leaf blade. Midvein. Center line is called mid.
doing? Network of veins. Network veins. PTL. Leaf attached to the stem is called PTL. I collected different types of leaf from my surroundings. My name is Tita, studying in 4th standard day section in Pula Pregna Education Center. Today I am going to perform a science experiment called gas balloon. So first, take a lemon, cut it into half, then squeeze the lemon juice into a tumbler, then take some baking soda, put it into a balloon, then take a bottle, uh, close the balloon, Close the bottle slit with the balloon and straighten the balloon. That's the baking soda flows into the bottle. Now I am going to perform the experiment. So take a lemon, cut it into half, then take a squeezer and squeeze the squeeze the lemon and collect them in a tumbler. Then pour it into a, then pour it into a bottle. Let's take a balloon, take a, take some baking soda and take a balloon. Put some baking soda into the balloon. Then take the, uh, take the bottle which, which, which is filled with the lemon juice. Close the bottle with the balloon. Mm -hmm. Close the bottles. Close the bottles. Make sure that the baking soda goes into the lemon juice. Let's see what happens. This is the result. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Vinisha Gowda. I am studying in first standard. This is my model. My model is rainwater harvesting. Collection and storage from the rainwater. It is called a rainwater harvesting. Rainwater which is pure and good quality. Now I am. Now I will explain the steps for rainwater harvesting. First step is house and roof. Roof top place in container and.
Waste the rain water. Please save the rain water. Thank you. Sai Ragwa. I am studying in first standard. I am going to show you a candle magic trick. We need a glass and a candle. burning because of air. Now we should shut down one. Now this is, uh, there is no air here. But here is air. It is burning because of air. Thank you. Good morning ma'am. My name is Ishani. I am studying in first standard. Today I am going to do experiment. My experiment name is air occupies space. We need a paper, a glass, bowl of the water. Take the paper from the lid. Put it into the glass. Push it into the water. Take the glass. Paper is dry. Why? Because air occupies space in this glass. Thank you ma'am.